Yep. Okay. Yep. So basically, um, the Ubuntu phone is part of a wider convergent platform um, where you can run Ubuntu. The, our goal is to build a, um, a single OS that runs across all of the devices that you care about in the cloud. So it runs on the desktop, it runs on the TV, there's Ubuntu for Android where you can take a standard Android phone and you can dock it and reboot into the, um, it boots into the Ubuntu desktop. And then obviously we've introduced the phone as well. We set out to build a really personal experience. We found that a lot of people were unhappy with their iPhone and their Android phones um, because they, yeah, you have to juggle all of these applications to manage your content and your contacts. Um, so we wanted to make a personal experience from the get-go. So when you switch it on, you see this welcome screen, and this is uh, this is this is not a lock screen. You know, a lock screen is this impersonal barrier between you and your content. Um, the goal of the welcome screen is to is to tell you how many tweets you've received, how many missed calls you might have had, that kind of thing. Um, and this is also an artist representation of you and your content in your day. So this changes and evolves as the day progresses. So it feels more personal to you. Um, now what we did is we built this with the goal of it being able to work on devices with no buttons. So it keeps, this, so it keeps the, uh, the bit of materials low for handset uh, operators. So to, so to get around the lack of buttons, we've, we've um, hot-rodded each of the four edges of the screen uh, to, to, to map to different functionality. So for example, if I slide out from the left, this is the launcher. Uh, this is where most of your frequently used applications are going to live. Um, so, for example, I could, uh, if I, if I, I could look at Facebook or my web browser or Twitter or whatever else. This button at the bottom, this is, if I tap this, it's a Ubuntu button. Uh, this takes us to our home view. Uh, like I mentioned earlier on, we found that people were a little frustrated because you know, all their music lives in the music application, their videos lives in the video app. Uh, it gets even worse for communication because you've got a different application for Facebook, for Google+, Plus, for Twitter, for your email, for your SMSs, for your phone calls. It's all scattered. So we've built all of this directly into the core Chrome of, of, the, of the operating system. So we have our frequently used applications, any missed calls, uh, new film releases. So this will recommend movies based upon your viewing habits. If you like comedy, you'll see a lot of comedy there, for example. Um, recently added music. Uh, and what's interesting about this is that when you buy content, or you, you know, if you download free content, as an example, um, it'll save it to your Ubuntu One personal cloud. So if I buy an album, for example, if I buy this album right here, um, it will save that music to my to my phone, obviously, but then it'll save it to my personal cloud, which will be synced with all of my Ubuntu devices. So it'll be on my Ubuntu TV, it'll be on my desktop, etc., etc. So it's a it's a really neat way of making sure that your content is everywhere where you need it. So this is a nice overview, but people typically want to delve into some of the more specifics. So if I slide right, I can look at my apps. These are my apps that are open right now. I can look at my frequently used applications, my installed apps, um, as well as my apps that are available for download. We could use this search box up here. We could search, for example, for Angry Birds. Um, and that'll show me, uh, that'll update this view and show all matches that are installed or available for download with that search term. So for example, if I don't have Angry Birds installed, It'll, it'll appear here, and then I can tap it, and then I can install it without even having to go to an app store. Um, we will have an app store, but it'll be primarily used for browsing, and uh, browsing apps and ratings and reviews and that kind of content. So we have our applications view up here. Obviously, our videos, if I spin through it, homes in the middle. And we've got our people view, uh, music. Um, so it's, it pro provides a really nice overview of all the content that you own, as well as the content that you, uh, that you, that you could have access to as well. Now one of the goals here, as well with Ubuntu on the phone and across our other devices, is to blur the line between the web and your, your device. So we found that, um, for example, people use a mixture of native apps as well as um, applications that exist on the web. So, but those web apps are trapped inside the browser tabs. Um, you know, if you use Google Calendar, it's trapped inside that tab. I don't want to go to a tab to access my calendar. I want my calendar to be integrated with the, the calendar on my phone or the calendar on my on my uh, on my desktop or even to be visible on my TV. So this is a good example of that functionality. This is almost like an address book, and it shows us these red and green dots show us when somebody's online on a social network or an instant messenger. If I tap Florian, I can see his contact details, but I can also see his most recent Facebook post. If I was to tap that, it would then take me to the mobile Facebook page where I could actually reply to that. Um, I'm not going to tap that because I'm networking zone right now, so I don't want to show you a, an empty browser page. Um, and then obviously we have native apps as well. So if I slide out here, I'm going to load up the gallery. I've already had this open. 
this provides a really neat way of looking at our pictures now and our videos um, on a day-by-day -day basis I can slide left and right it's a really really sleek, sleek slim clear UI it's very organic looking Ubuntu is we spent a lot of time uh, maximizing um, screen real estate so Ubuntu on the desktop makes the best use of screen real estate of any desktop uh, operating system in the world right now and that's even more important on the phone because you have a much smaller much smaller screen obviously so it provides a really nice way in which we can browse content so for example if I load uh, load this image up you know obviously you can flick between your different images um, I talked about how the left edge is for loading your frequently used apps the bottom edge is for access and functionality within that app so I can slide up like that and then I can see buttons that relate to this so for example I could click tap I could tap share I can share that on, on Facebook there's no reason why we need to have a, a physical hardware button for a menu you can just use the edges the other thing we wanted to solve as well was to make it easy to configure your phone and we found that um, the experience of configuring things on your phone was it was, was really disruptive to how you use your phone. So on a regular phone, you'd be using the gallery, for example, here. I'd have to go back to my list of applications. I'd find my settings. I'd tap settings. I'd find the, the correct uh, category that I need, and then I'd go and configure it. I'd probably get the category wrong, so I'd have to try again. Whereas it, we've, we realized that most people want to change pretty similar things. I want to join a new wireless network. I want to change the volume on my phone. I want to change the date and time because I'm in a new location change my Bluetooth devices, that kind of thing. So with Ubuntu on phones, you just tap the top and then you can slide left and right and you can jump through these different indicators and then you can configure your settings right there. It's simple and it's quick and it's efficient. So, sound settings. And this left one here, this is messages. Um, and this is, we put this on the top, on the top edge because m phones are implicitly social devices. We, just use different ways of communicating. We use Facebook, Google+, Twitter, or other social networks, phone calls, SMSs. You should be able to have real quick access to each of these different things. So when you get a contact from someone, it appears here, irrespective of what network you use, and then you can tap this and you can respond right away. So just to recap, the left edge is the left edge here is for loading your frequently used applications. The bottom edge here is for is for uh, Content that relates to uh, uh, is for functionality that relates to the currently loaded application. The top edge is for your messages as well as configuring your phone. And then the right edge, we use this for multitasking. We found people use three to six applications on a regular basis and they want to flick between them really easily and it's pretty clunky on current phones. To do this on the Ubuntu phone, you just slide from the right. And it's really, really quick and easy to flick through all of those different applications. And if you want to go back to, to your home, just slide from the left to the right, big swipe, and then you go. And that's basically how the Ubuntu phone works.